everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kirk Kaiser. The decision to get behind the wheel after a few drinks could set you back thousands and leave a permanent stain on your record. For a select few, that could change. There's a new law that allows first-time offenders to hide it on their criminal record. Our Austin Kempker shows us how a tech student plans to take advantage of it to get a second chance. John's a junior at Texas Tech. He didn't want his real name used because he's been convicted of a DWI. Last October, he was driving to a buddy's house after a few drinks and crashed. Once I put was uh, put in cuffs, reality kind of set in, and I realized the mistake I made and sitting in a jail cell for 24 hours definitely opened my mind up to what I did. And after that, it was just kind of looking for forgiveness. It's a decision that's going to leave a permanent stain on his record, potentially harming his ability to find jobs once he graduates. With going through interviews lately, I've just been upfront about it, and companies really appreciate, uh, you know, the openness. And you know, obviously, it'll come up in a background check. And I feel like just being upfront about it and not hiding it is the best way to approach it. House Bill 3016 went into effect September 1st. It allows first-time DWI offenders a second chance by allowing them to have their criminal record sealed, meaning for people like John, they could hide their record. This is huge. There's a laundry list of factors that could eliminate offenders from contention, though, such as having a BAC of .15 or higher or being involved in a multi-vehicle crash at the time of arrest. You also can't have any other criminal history outside of a basic traffic citation. It's not meant for people who've made multiple mistakes. It, it's kind of really for that one-time mistake um, that many of us have in life, um, where it was a first-time DWI, no other criminal history. Um, it's for those individuals to give them a fresh start. Justin Keekler is a defense attorney that's represented a number of clients with DWIs. DWI was pretty much very limited compared to a lot of other offenses. Um, sadly, in what I do for a living, I have clients where they could commit a very serious felony and they could still do the non-disclosure process. Um, but unfortunately, the law, uh, the DWI, was I think one of two offenses that would not allow a non-disclosure. The law is retroactive, so if you have a prior conviction in Texas, no matter how long ago it was, you can petition to have it sealed. After the appropriate waiting period is passed, assuming you meet the other qualifications, you have to file a petition, okay, you have to file it in the court system, uh, in the court in which you were convicted, then you have to give notice to the state, and then you have to have a hearing, and at that hearing you have to show the judge as the petitioner that it's in the best interest of justice you be granted that. Given that you make it through the process, it doesn't mean that it's gone from your record altogether. DPS can still disclose that information to a laundry list of state agencies and other criminal justice agencies. So they'll still communicate and share information. But as far as disclosure to the public, that's what it's supposed to shut down. And that's good news for people like John, who've only just gotten started in life. I have aspirations in life that, you know, I don't want that to be associated with me. Uh, later in my career, I want to get into politics. And I know that having something like that hanging over my back isn't, you know, the best for that opportunity. And so, Having this sealed, I feel like, opens up a ton of opportunities for me and it kind of gives me, you know, a second chance. For more info on the program and if you qualify,